All right, people, we are in Central Florida right now, and we are in the Airbnb right now. I'll give you guys a little look around. What is home for the next couple days? Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. This crib, oh yeah. Check this out, this room's a little bit frightening, but um, we love it. it. Smells like cat pee in here. Here we got Alex. It's not worse and worse as the time goes by. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love how I was I like, oh. you get used to him. No. <laughs> I love how I was like, oh, it smells like cat pee in here. Then I look in the cabinet and I just find <laughs> pet odor eliminator, oh, which is just, there. <laughs> yeah. There's no hiding it from us. But, uh, hey, we got a complimentary dog, <laughs> please. Check this out. Oh, hello. Forget the airplane. Yeah. <laughs> and we have an airplane in the, <laughs> in the <laughs> But yeah, we've got corn. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, check this out. <laughs> this is hilarious. Keep door closed when windy. Tile in ceiling will blow up. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta keep the door shut at all times. I just tried washing my apple before eating it. It just tastes like rust now. Oh no. Uh, yes, the water is rusty, but we have an airplane, so... <laughs> yeah. All right, that's enough of that. We're gonna get after it. Flip some junk today. Hope we find something. All right, got the first snake of the day right here. Nice, oh, man. Come on, buddy. <laughs> nice southern black racer. It's under this, whoa. He keeps grabbing the camera. Sorry, bud. Um, but anyway, under this piece of cardboard here, uh, pretty interestingly, I'll see if I can zoom in on it. Look at that, he's got a big tick on his back. Super strange, but uh, yeah, I expect we might see more of these, but it's a good sign that this guy was undercover. And maybe his cousin, the coach whip, will be out as well. So, gonna put this guy back. Pooped on me. Ugh. a shed. It's either a race or a coach whip shed. I want that one so bad. <laughs> you want that? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, Alex got a little snake here. It's pretty cute. A little racer. Same species as before, but when they're younger, they've got a lot more patterning. It's pretty neat. Especially on the belly. That's cute. All right, we're questioning our ID here. I just assumed racer. It was super thin, but like, look at all these colors and the face is so brown and it's so long and skinny. Part of me wants to say it's a coach. But I don't know. <laughs> I think, I thought racer. I mean like, in doubt I would go with racer, but this is embarrassing. Also the, the fact that the eye is red like that is very coach whip like. Like if this were up north, you would know that this is, cause like a, a southern black racer in Florida kinda has reddish eyes like this, but up north, like a, you know, you'd see a baby racer and you know it's a baby racer. We confirmed, definitely Baby Racer, we were just tripping because it was like a little different looking down <laughs> south and we kind of wanted it to be a coach, but definitely Racer, we're gonna keep flipping. I don't know what it is about this trip, but we cannot break our species streaks. Here's a very cold Racer, younger than the first one, but older than the last one. And you can see when they get older, they start to darken out. You can still see some of that patterning on the sides. Um, but cool, he's very cold. I'm gonna put him back under a piece of plastic over here and we're gonna keep flipping. Got lots of junk to get to. All right, so a uh, neat little find by Alex right here. We were trying to get one of these guys by raking some sand and vegetation and uh, Alex got one under the sand under a board. This is a sand skink and it's a endemic to Florida. 
I believe it's an endemic to this region of Florida, but they've barely even got any legs left because they've evolved to a life of just kind of swimming through the sand. And when this guy basically swims away, I'll show you that behavior. It's pretty neat. Definitely something worth photographing when the, in this area though, so happy to have finally seen this species. <laughs> All right, got another one right here, not far from the other. I think we've probably got our fill for these, but what a neat species. Look at this guy posing handsomely. And we're gonna make sure he makes his way off into the sand, but super cool species, you can see. This is kind of like the scrubby, sandy habitat that they're living in. Just awesome. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Just disappeared. Sweet. Nice cold little racer. Good that it's still cold. Man, I swear, it's like the rule of five this trip. Like, you can't yeah. move on without at least five of the same species, and then we don't get another new species. I think All it's right. perfect for flipping right now. Actually. Yeah, this feels good. It's getting a little warmer, so I bet stuff is kind of coming to the surface, but... Give me something good. All right, we broke the racer streak. Tommy flipped this little blind snake. It's an invasive species, also known as a flower pot snake, because I think they were introduced via flower pots, or that's the theory, at least. But tiny little invasive, pretty benign, honestly. I, I can't imagine these guys do too much damage, but these guys have actually made their way all over the world just because of their invasive tendencies. So, interesting. We're gonna, I guess, let them go and keep flipping. That would be, ugh, stuck into my leg. Fun. I'll leave that there. Coach whip. <laughs> nice little oh. yellowy tan hey, coach whip. Oh, oh. Alright, so Alex flipped a little coach whip right here. That is just awesome. It's only the second eastern coach whip I've ever seen. And it's a nice little young one. The last one I got was big and had a black head. This one's more tan. Though I'm not sure if it would darken with age. But I know in this area sometimes they just stay completely tan. But wow. Getting the cameras out. Hey, cool see a hog out here. Can we just put them on a couch cushion? I like that. It's nice and shaded. Could you uh, pose it just on the leaf layer for a second? Yep. One minute. Sorry, I just saw your ping pong paddle underwear. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ping pong underwear. Ladies love it. <laughs> Telling you, it drives them crazy. I love their eyes. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, letting this little coach go. Beauty. Sweet. Little southern ringneck snake right here. Check this out. These guys down here are actually really pretty. So check out the stomach. Yeah. Oh, I forgot your color born. <laughs> it just looks yellow to me, sorry. Do they curl their tails? I don't. Yeah, a little bit. Orange on that tail tip is awesome. Very different looking than our ringnecks back home. This left side under the tree of that oh, okay. st stupid styrofoam thing. All right, well, super neat. We're gonna let this guy go and uh, keep flipping stuff, but cool. Mm. Like the difference from back home. We're in the safety of the car, but Alex just flipped this couch and there was a massive honeybee nest on the inside, I guess. Maybe not honeybees, who knows, but they look, they look pissed off. So we're in the safety of the car and uh, yeah, we're gonna drive away. Oh, go flip it, no balls. <laughs> Here, you can take my hat and put the mask over your face. Oh my God, nah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All 
All right, been flipping all morning. It started to die down despite hitting some really good looking cover. Um, we're actually at a barbecue place over here. We're gonna get some lunch and uh, plan out the rest of the day, but it's probably gonna be a combination of uh, cruising, maybe some hiking closer to water, and uh, flipping if it cools down a little bit. That's terrible. I think we can get used to this. Yeah. More finds by Alex. <laughs> yeah, like, wow. Alex it. is a superhero right it? now. Dude. But so Alex uh, peeked under some bark and found this pinewood snake. And like this is a snake I, I never really have set my sights on targeting or imagined finding. Um, I mean, I, I've always had them maybe in the back of my mind, but I, I didn't even think of this species today. So this is a lifer for me and all of us. And just super neat looking little snake. I wow, yeah. I never. I really don't even know much about these guys. I know they like pine woods, <laughs> <laughs> and they are fossorial, you know. Um, Look how it transfers on that side. It's yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful orangey color. Wow, the musk smells absolutely horrible. It smells like roadkill or something. I think we should just pose it right over here in some dump. Wow, that's neat. Beautiful snake. So cool. Perfectly, oh, pine cone almost ran away. But look how perfectly this guy's posing up. You can really see his orange colors here. I'm really happy that I was able to find this guy by myself. Um, just kidding. Alex found him. <laughs> but really pretty snake. Definitely pretty underrated. Like, that's a cool snake. I'd love to read a little bit more about its natural history. But super cool. We're going to let him go in a little bit and uh, hopefully be able to keep finding some stuff. Sweet. Alright, so uh, Tommy flipped a little board and got this beautiful little corn snake. Corn snakes are pretty common in this region of Florida, so we were pretty surprised we hadn't seen one at this point, and uh, finally we got this one, which is, which is nice. Add some species to the trip. Good looking snake, as they typically are. I mean, they're usually some form of reddish with the yellows and oranges, so exciting stuff. I'm going to uh, get a couple up closes of it and then we're going to eventually let it go after some pictures. Oh, he wants to bite me. Alright, so uh, Alex has never seen a corn before and uh, I think Tommy's only ever seen a couple. So they're photographing that thing. I saw a lot last year when I was in Florida, so I'm just gonna hike while they're doing that and um, hopefully turn up something else. It's really windy. Hope you guys can hear me well. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna see if I flip something and I'll let them let that thing go. Yeah, it's right here. Oh my God. There's a dead gator right here. Oh, there's a... Oh, that's gnarly. That's crazy. <laughs> Based off where that was, someone must have dumped that gator, I don't know, after killing it or something. Weird. <laughs> Florida. I kind of love Florida. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, it got dark pretty quickly, and as it got dark, it also got really cold. It's like 64 degrees right now, and... The garbage site that we went to actually got cleaned up, which was disappointing. It was actually where I got the coral snake last year in last year's video. So we came to some rocks near water. We're going to shine a little bit. Not super optimistic. I don't think we will get anything, but we might get an aquatic snake or something. It's just worth a quick shot, and then we're probably going to call it a night. Shockingly, 
It's windy as hell right now, but we got a little green water snake, Florida green water snake, in the water on this rock. And there he goes. Maybe we'll get a mud snake if we're crazy lucky. I think I've shined like four brown water snakes, but two of them swam away faster than I could do anything about. But here are two that are intertwined. I don't know if they're mating. They legitimately might be locked up, so don't get too close, Alex. I don't want to scare them. But they're like fully intertwined. Oh, they're starting to move. You creepy bastard, you scared them. All right, well, I'm gonna go around these guys and, and give them some space to make more brown water snakes. <laughs> Appears that we have another brown water snake right here. He's flicking his tongue. It's funny, I guess these guys are real cold tolerant. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, it's like in the 60s, but they're, oh, they're with the tail of a little one. Are we just racking up on the brown water snakes right now? Let's see. I don't know. Maybe we could get a mud. Look at this placo skeleton. Invasive fish species in Florida. I've seen like eight water snakes now, something like that. A lot of them dip before I can film them. Alright, so we've identified something over here. We don't know what it is, it might be a capybara. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's either a cow a or a know. giant capybara. We're gonna go check it out. <laughs> I think that's a whole hippo. Dude, that could be a capybara. It's either a cow or... <laughs> All right, let's... Turns out that's a bull. Um, in the process of coming over to this bull, it's been an eventful few minutes, I was shining these rocks and there's a freaking Scarlet King in 60 degree weather, and I freaking lost it. I'm so freaking mad. The bull is looking at us, so we probably gotta move. But, oh my God, God, Oh, I'm so disappointed. It got down into the rocks and got away. <sighs> well, I am just profoundly disappointed. We have, like, been struggling for a lucky break this trip. Um, and I know that was all confusing because we were looking at this, like, weird cow that was not in a pasture out of place at the spot we were shining. And uh, I'm going over to go check it out to see what it is and I almost trip over the Scarlet King, big yellow and red, like high yellow, coming in and out of a rock, and I just totally wasn't expecting it, and I had the camera in one hand, flashlight in the other, and I just went for it, and I don't know, hesitated because of the camera, and it got away. So we're gonna see if it comes back out, but that's a disappointing way to uh, end the night, possibly. All right, we're back at the house. Apologies for ending the night. On a sad note, but <laughs> this is probably going to be the end of this video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to get after it for the next couple days and hopefully kick butt, turn the trip around, find that SK. Not just a SK, that specific <laughs> SK, that spot. I will get my revenge and uh, you guys will just have to find out what happens in the next episode. So, uh, see you guys then.